Welcome to the 3D Mechanical Design Channel. I am a mechanical engineer with two decades of SOLIDWORKS experience. In today's video, we will focus on the detailed modeling of a bearing housing. For those interested, a link to the first and second videos, as well as a 3D model that you can download, is provided in the description below. If you find the tutorial useful, please consider liking, commenting, and suggesting future project topics. Let's begin. This video is the third in our series on modeling a bearing housing wall mount. Previously, we developed the bearing housing assembly. Our current task is to model the flange sleeve bearing. Reviewing the assembly, we have a shaft with a diameter of 70 millimeters and a bearing housing with an inner diameter of 90 millimeters. We will conduct the design within the assembly environment to accelerate workflow and enhance accuracy. Let's proceed. Insert a new part into the assembly. Select the part and activate float mode to allow free movement. Apply a coincident mate between the origin of the part and the origin of the assembly to properly align it. Select the part again and use the Edit Component tool. The part color will change to blue, indicating it is in edit mode. We can now begin modeling the flange sleeve bearing. Select the right plane and initiate a new sketch. Start by drawing the center line for reference. Next, sketch the bearing profile with the following dimensions. An inner radius of 35 millimeters calculated as 70 millimeters diameter divided by two. Flange radii of 50 millimeters on both sides. and an outer radius of 45 millimeters, 90 millimeters diameter divided by two. Use the revolved boss base tool to create the bearing body by revolving the sketch around the center line. Confirm by clicking OK. Finally, apply a copper appearance to the modeled bearing body. Now we need to add a lubrication hole. Select the part, then navigate to Tool, Edit Component. Create a new sketch on the plane of the bearing housing's top cover. Draw a circle with a diameter of 12 millimeters. Use the extruded cut tool to cut through the material up to the next surface. 
Next, apply the circular pattern tool to replicate this cut four times evenly spaced around the part. Finally, create cuts on both the outer and inner surfaces to facilitate grease flow to the shaft. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please like and leave a comment. The 3D model is available for download via the link in the description. Thank you for watching my videos.